Hello everybody and welcome back to Valhalla Tree. Today we set up excavators to dig up some ores from immersive engineering. I hope you enjoy. So today I think we're going to work on making more resources. Now we have this drill or this laser drill right here. And it has been going very well. Um, so this thing has been generating a, us a lot of ores. Like if you take a look in here. Ores. We have like 1.5k osmium, coal and all that. But I want to generate even more. And the best way to do that is using immersive engineering. Now the, the source is not infinite. But it will generate a couple thousand pieces of ore for us. So if we grab our immersive engineering's manual. Wait, do we not have a manual? Uh, maybe not. Okay, how hard is a manual to make? Okay, not that difficult. Uh, so what we can do... Oh, what do we got? Phantoms. Okay, let me sleep quickly. Right, as I was saying, if we look in here, we have heavy machinery. So the best way we're going to be able to get our ores is using a excavator. Now an excavator is built like this. It has two different stages where it uses this. And it's just one big massive multi-structure. And this thing will mine us thousands of ores. So we go back here we have an option for minerals. So this thing will show us what we can get. Now we can use a mineral deposit or a core drill. Now this core drill or sample drill will tell us what type of ores we can get from a certain chunk. So what we want to use is that to show what type of thing we get. So this is a core sample. And in here, it shows us what we can get. So this says, Arc I don't even know how to pronounce that. Archaeus, Archaic Dixite is a mineral vein that can be found in the nether. And it's 60% gravel, but 40% ancient debris. So if we were to find one of these ore deposits in the nether and set up an excavator, we could get like 40% ancient debris. Which is actually a lot of netherite. The same thing here, so we can get gold and copper. So this thing will have 75% copper and 25% gold, and so on. So for instance, aquamarine, and emerald, and prismarine. Prismarine would be not a bad block to get. Uh, Butamith, which would be coal and sulfur, and this sulfur can be used to turn into nuclear fuel for mechanism, but I don't think we're actually going to be doing this this series. Uh, tin ore, so this is 100% tin, so nothing but tin. it will be castorite. And then we'll have calcopyrite. Uh, channel copyright, I don't know how to pronounce these things, but I'll have iron, copper, and sulfur dust. The next one then is cinnabar, so we'll have an option to get 60% redstone ore and 40% sulfur. Galena, which is lead and so silver and so more sulfur. Igneous, so we're pretty much just getting all these type of rocks. Granite, diorite, andesite, and obsidian. The most important thing we'll probably be wanting out of this is the obsidian, but we probably could make a machine that can make it for us anyway. Uh, laterite, which is just bauxite, and iron bauxite is, I think, pretty much aluminium. So then you get nether quartz and nether gold, more sulfur, which this one actually would not be a bad one to get either because nether quartz is a hard ore to get. Pentalandite. Uh, <laughs> I'm butchering these names so hard. It's early in the morning, so I'm not able to read as best as I could. So we got iron and more nickel, which will probably make us invert. I don't even know if invert is in this pack. Uh, silt, which is just clay. The clay would be really handy to get, so we might actually try and find a silt one. Probably the best place to find that is on a beach. Uranium and lead, so uranium would be a good one to get. And that's actually all of the ores. So, to actually make the ex excavator, we're going to have to look in on this page. Uh, this one here. This will show everything we're going to need. And we're probably going to need a couple of these excavators. I'd like to set one up in the nether, and probably at least two or three of them in the overworld. Uh, there's nothing in the end we can get, so we're going to work on set, making about four of these things. So we're just going to have to make as much of this stuff as we can. So we need scaff steel scaffolding, steel sheet metal, radiator blocks, light engineering blocks, redstone blocks, heavy engineering blocks, blocks of steel, and steel scaffolding. And we're going to need four times all of that. So by the looks of it, we should be okay if we just make a stack of everything. So... The first thing we're going to need is steel sheet metal. So if we find steel sheet metal, which is, where is it? It's not this stuff. Scaffolding. There we go. Steel scaffolding. So we want to make at least a stack of that. Okay. 
How much steel do we actually have? Not much, I don't think. But we might actually have enough to do this, hopefully. So, that should be plenty of steel scaffolding. Now we need steel sheet metal, if we could find it in the list here. Actually, you know what? We need blocks of steel and we need nine of them. So I need a total of 36 of these things. And now we're out of steel. Right, okay. Uh, if I grab myself some coal, chuck it into the enriching factory, make some enriched carbon. If we look up carbon, we have the carbon here. Okay, let that build up for just a second. We're going to grab a stack of iron. Actually, a couple stacks of iron. Chuck it into this, not smelter, but the infusing factory. There we go. Look, all the iron in there, and grab another stack of coal, grab carbon, and now we want to stick the carbon in here, stick another stack of coal in here, so we start making a bunch of steel. Now, this is going to make enriched iron, which is fine, because then we can go ahead and take that out and re-put it back in. So, iron, there you go, easy enriched iron, so once that is made, about three stacks of it, we can take it out and put it back into the machine. Now, the thing is, we actually don't need much iron, because we're actually up in 20,000, and 50,000 nuggets, that must have been when I was producing all that ore over with the big crushing wheel from Create. Okay, damn, that was like 6,000 iron just sitting there in nugget form. Damn, that actually was a lot of iron. Okay, we almost have about three stacks of it there now. Does this thing have a speed upgrade in it? Doesn't feel like it's going very fast. It's one less, but that shouldn't be making much of a difference. Alright. Wait, that's more than... Okay, apparently we had more than that. So, plenty of carbon, put all that in. That will make all steel. And once all that is done, we should be able to turn, smelt it all and make it into steel ingots and then continue working on making the steel scaffolding. What's the other stuff we need? We need steel sheet metal, radiator blocks. Okay, let's see if we can find those. So, radiator blocks. We need steel sheet metal, light engineering blocks, redstone engineering blocks, and a heavy engineering blocks. And that should be everything we need now. So this is fully done smelting all that steel. So if we were to look up our steel with 200 and something ore of it, put it in here to start smelting, let all that smelt away, and now we can continue what we were doing. So we'll leave the blocks of steel to last because I know we're going to not have enough of them. So what we need to do is make the heavy engineering blocks. So if we go back to immersive and we make the radiator blocks. Now, how many radiator blocks do we need? We need three per one, so we need 12 of them. Okay, so we might as well not work on making a full stack of everything because that'd be just a waste of resources. What is this? Okay, it's just water. Okay, I thought it'd be something else. Copper sheets, okay, steel sheet metal. Okay, we're working on the steel sheet metal first. Uh, actually, let's make a metal press because we don't have a presser from Create and the only other way to make it is using an engineer hammer, but it is one to one, so it's actually it's not that much of a waste. So I'll make a couple of these hammers, why not? So steel sheet metal is just steel combined with a hammer. There we go. I'll make uh, probably about half a stack of this stuff. There should be plenty for what we need. Now we make steel sheet metal. Make all of it into steel sheet metal. Uh, is that more than enough? So it needs 16 per one. We've only made 32. So we need at least two stacks of sheet metal. Right. Um, actually, no, we don't only need a full stack of it, so I need a lot more than does that. Wait, am I out of... Okay, apparently I used up all of the sheet, steel sheet metal. Okay, um, screw it, we'll make a full stack of it. And then we'll make another half a stack of this stuff. Okay, way too much, but we actually do need some for crafting, so that's fine. So copper, same thing again, just boom, stack of copper sheets. And now we just need a few buckets of water, so bucket. We have three buckets. Where do all my buckets keep going? I swear, like, I make so many buckets and I never have any when I need them. So, now we can make radiator blocks. So, we make four per one, so I just need to make three sets of these. There we go, 12 radiator blocks, that's perfect. Now, the light engineering blocks requires iron sheet metal, which is fine. There we go. And how many light engineering blocks do we need? So, we need nine per one. So we need 36 light engineering blocks. Wow, that's a lot of blocks. We have a total of two already, so I need to make a couple more. So we need iron mechanical parts, which is more iron sheet metal, or iron sheets. By now with a hammer, it makes four. By now with more, 36, and 
boom, another stack. There we go. Now make these copper, these components. Now we need to make a couple more iron sheet. Actually, no, I think we have enough now. 24 plus the two. Okay, we need a few more of these parts, so I need a bit more iron sheets. Now we might have enough to make the whole lot. How many do we have? 34. I need two more. Oh, come on. Okay, I need to make another one of these hammers. You know what? I might as well make a bunch of them because, well, we have the resource to do it. Combine that with iron. And we should be able to make it all now. All right, two more of these. Now we can craft it. There we go. And we have 38 of them. That's all we need. Now we have those. Now it's to make a redstone engineering blocks, which is the same thing. And I think I need one per thing. Yeah, so I have plenty of them now. So I didn't need to actually make eight. And actually, I already had enough. So I just need four of them. And all that's left now is the heavy engineering block, which requires a ton of steel sheet metal. Might as well use up all the steel. That's steel nuggets. Oops. There we go. And I probably should make a bit more. So one, two, three, four stacks of iron. Two stacks of coal. Put the coal in here. Iron in here. Make them into enriched iron. Steel. We still have 74, so we might have enough to keep going. So, all I have to do is make some of these. 30 of them. And we don't actually... Oh, we do have steel sheet metal. So, how many of these heavy engineering blocks do we need? We need... Where is it? Four. So, I just need 12 of them. Okay, so we do actually have plenty. Steel sheet metal. And the only thing we are missing is a lot more blocks of steel. Okay, we have enough to make one excavator now. Uh, all I need now is a hammer. Because we need a hammer to actually make the, the multi-structure. Uh, one thing we could make is a projector from Immersive Engineering. And this thing will pretty much put down a 3D map of it in the world. So for instance, it'll come in here and say we want to find an excavator. Excavator 2. There we go. And I think... Pretty sure that's what all you needed. Oh, I must have not actually selected it. What? Oh, I need to confirm. There we go. But before we can even use this excavator, we need a core drill to be able to even see what we need. So core, drill, sample drill, and we need steel fence. Okay, we don't have any steel left. So once we come in here, grab our steel, dust at least, smelt that, and we'll have enough now to make our core drill. So core, drill, we're just going to meet this fence, sample, and now we just grab ourselves a point. And now we need to pick a location that we would like to set it up first. So if I press F3 and G, it'll bring up our chunk borders, and we can see what chunks we want to work on. So we'll work with this chunk first. So if we put down our core sample... Put the flux point on it there, give it power, right click this thing, it will slowly drill down into the earth, and it'll take a couple of seconds, it'll come back up, and it should just spit out a type of sample. Core sample. So apparently there is absolutely nothing in this chunk. Now we could just right click and put this down so it'll show us uh, that there's actually nothing in this chunk. That's fine, so we can move on to another chunk, which is this one right here. Put it down and do the same thing over and over again until we get the one we want. Now the thing I really want is probably going to be the Galena one. Actually, I don't even know which one I want. So looking through it, I'd actually like to get the copper and gold. Because the gold is the only kind of resources we don't actually have a lot of. And I can't reach anything from here. Are we looking? Um, there is a water reserve here, but it, there's no ore. Okay, so... I can pick these up and store them in a computer or throw them away because I actually don't want them. So, what we can do then is pick this up and keep moving until we find a gold reserve. Alright, so I could not find a gold ore anywhere. So I've been checking out this entire area so you can see I've been putting down these plots everywhere. And majority of them are all butamous coal. So, since that's the only, pretty much one, the only one I can find... Like, there is, um, laterite here, which is, like, coal and bauxite, or uh, iron and bauxite, and there's a lot of that around. Like, this is 
one, and then I think this is another 100% one, so I think I might set up two excavators, one here and one here for mining coal, and this will get us bauxite, because I actually don't think we have a lot of bauxite. So, to make one of these then, is we can grab ourselves our thing, and we can put it down on the world, I think. How do I put it down? Mirror, rotation, confirm. How do I place it down as a thing? Do I shift right click? No. Wait, what? What's this red block for? Wait, this is one piece of... Oh, wait, does it p put it down as I build it? Hang on. Let me fill this floor back in. Wait, where'd it go? Okay, so I have to keep it in my inventory. So if I put one down... Okay, so it shows me how to build it block by block. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. So as I put it down, it will tell me all the blocks I need to put down. Perfect! So, if we just follow the shape of this, and we just build up a bit of the ground here, just so it's, well, kind of around it now. I think pretty sh I'm pretty sure this will actually dig out its own hole once it is down, so... Yeah, okay, so we need to put this across like that. One here. Like that, and then I'm not sure what block they are. I know that's a light engineering block. These are heavy. So a light engineering block, a radiator block, and I think this is all sheet metal. Yes. Here we go. And this is sheet metal, sheet metal, sheet metal. And uh, that is all of this. Then they're light engineering blocks. They're heavy ones. I need light. Tree along there. This is a block of steel. Oh wait, I need to keep this in my hotbar. And uh, that's a block. Put a block there. A block goes here and a block goes here. And then I think I need light and heavy. So heavy will go along here. Here, a light will go here, and a redstone will go here. And then the next one is radiator blocks. Okay, so steel scaffolding. So one will go here, 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 here. Uh, I need light. One, two, three. Another light one goes here. Heavy. I don't need any more heavy. I need steel scaffolding. Right, puts it back in upper scaffolding. All the way across the top. Okay, no, they're radiator blocks. Yeah, there they are. Then I need an actual steel block right here. Here, scaffolding, steel block. Is that it? I think it's done. I think I just right click that. Yep, yeah, okay, perfect. We have built ourselves an excavator. So to power this, now we have three points of connectivity over here. So we have two options, I think. One is if we're delivering high enough power output, you don't have to connect all the points. Now I'm just going to connect all of them because I can, so I'm just going to connect them all like that. I don't have a power point on me right now because, well, it's actually in the nether right now. So I'll have to go home, get another one, but right here is where I want to put the ender chest. And the ender chest should get all the stuff that this thing digs up should be inputted into this. And this is also redstone controls. If we wanted to put a lever right here to turn the thing on and off, we could. So if I teleport home, grab myself a point. And now with this point, we can put the point down here, connect it to our network. This thing should get powered. And it will start breaking a couple of blocks, exporting out some dirt. Just while it clears the area that it needs to dig. And what happens is, this does not dig the ores in an area. There's like a virtual area or a virtual ore deposit that it digs from. So this thing is telling me that there is no fluid. Okay, so we don't need to pump it out. But it's 100% butamous coal. So if we were to pick this up, we can see we have an expected yield output of about... Oh, it usually tells you about an expert yield. Oh yeah, there it is. Underneath where it says no fluid reservoir, it says expected yield 35,000 ore. And since this 
core uh, butamuth one, I think it's just coal and... Is it just coal? Or is it coal and sulfur? Okay, yes, yeah, coal and sulfur. So, you see it's 80% coal and 20% sulfur. As you can see, it's actually digging up coal. So, you can see the little black spots in there, which show that it's coal. And hopefully this is getting exported out. Yeah, it gives you the ore as well. So, the full ore. This silk touches all the ores then as well. So, this thing will just export out tons of ore. Actually, while I'm here, let me just enable chunk loading. So, this thing is going to be running 24-7. And now we can do the same one here. And then we're going to go set up another one in the nether. So, I'm going to build another one right here. And there we go. Now, this one's running. And this is going to collect us. Uh, let me pick this up and we'll show you. So, it says there is... 3 million millibuckets of crude oil, but we're not going to bother with the crude oil because we don't need it. And so, it's got 75% saturation of laterite ore, which is um, not a lot, but it's still a lot, if you get, get what I mean. So, 32,000 expected yield, so this should give us at least, altogether, 32,000 um, iron and bauxite together. If, yeah, that, that makes sense, doesn't it? Whatever. So this is now chunk loaded. So this is now actually using... How much power is this using? I hope we're able to keep up with the amount of power these things are going to be draining. Um, but yeah, so this should be exporting coal, bauxite. I just saw silver there as well. Because I guess some silver must have been made in our laser drill. And my wings have been exhausted. Oh yeah, by the way, my wings. I changed the look of them. I went for the, the dark snow prints, I think it was called. Black snow prints. So these ones are like... This dark black purplish wing with some red on it. And I think they look a lot better. They're a lot thicker than the other wings. But I think it suits me more. Uh, the blazing or the, the phoenix wings were cool and all. But I more like these ones over the other ones. But now we can go ahead and set up our excavator in the nether. Now actually let me just check. How much power are we using? Okay these are on full whack. Yeah, it's using up more power than we can supply. Right, we might have to look into making some better power. Like, these are technically spirited. There's another tier of these we can go to. Um, so we could upgrade those as well, but we'll probably do that start of next episode or something. And that might be able to keep up. But before we head into the nether, I put away all the items, so we need to actually take out everything again. So we're going to need steel scaffolding. Alright, let me just get out all the ingredients. Alright, I've got everything we need, so all we have to do is just head into the nether. And I've done a few samples in here already, so we have quartzite here, which will give us quartz. And there's a couple of them here. Oh yeah, and I never explained why i done my excavator so far away from my actual base. Well, reason being is that, well, there is no ore in our base at all. And I think the reason for that is because I made that this world... In a very old version of the pack. And since then it has gone through a lot of changes. And I think that may have screwed up with the ore generation. So I had to go and load new chunks to be able to get the actual ore deposits. So here we see we can have 80% arc archic dictite. I'm just going to call it archic. But we've got quartzite at about 19%. So we'll get a very high yield of ancient debris but a very low yield of quartz. Now the same is the opposite here. So we get a high output of quartz and a low output of uh, ancient debris. And then another one here. It's almost um, more ancient debris than quartz. But then this one over here, which is where my core is right now, is 100% archaic dig size. Now we need to decide, do we want more ancient debris or do we want more quartz? And I'm kind of leaning towards more quartz. So if that's the case... I kind of wanted to use this part, or this location right here. So if we grab this guy, and rotate it, I think you shift, rotate, there we go. Right click it, put it down. I figured out how to use this projector a lot better now. So all that's left now is to actually go ahead and build this thing now as well. So, block of steel. Oh yeah, I have this in my inventory. Block of steel, steel scaffolding. One, two, three, block of steel. And then just build it up. I should be able to speed through this now that I know all the placements. Alright, so it's built. Right click this. Uh, set it up. Uh, just right click to delete the old version of that. These guys are starting to annoy me. 
Might need to make a mega torch over there to stop them from spawning, but once we get out of here, we won't have to worry about them. Anyway, so, cable. Uh, hook that up. Put down... Really? Put this guy down here. Turn on chunk loading. Select our power. This guy to start digging. And grab our ender chest. Put this on the back here. And now this thing will start digging up quartz. And with gold? I didn't think it dig up gold. There's some ancient debris. So I think, yeah, I think it digs up gravel and ancient debris, but I didn't think it digs up gold as well. Wait, no, it does. Because if we have a look in here at the minerals, if we go over to this guy, so it digs gravel and ancient debris. We get a lot more gravel and ancient debris, but that's fine. And then the one we're digging at the moment, I think it's near the end. No, here it is. It's going to be sulfur, nether gold, and nether quartz. So we actually will get a lot of gold out of this as well, so. Oh, why did we stop? You know why? Hello? Who are you? A trader? Turtle helmet? Speed 4? Why'd you punch me? Get out of here. I don't know why you punched me. Okay, so we're actually out of power, which is kind of uh, annoying. Well, let's go fix that quickly. So the only way I can think of fixing the power is to upgrade our current spirited furnace to a nitro furnace. And nitro is going to require nether stars and 20 million hours. Actually, you know what? We're not even going to be able to do that because there's no power to be able to even run this thing over here because these things are full out. So it looks like we're going to have to do, let's grab ourselves a lever. And we're going to have to go turn off all of the excavators we have set up at the moment because we cannot keep up with them. So, that kind of defeats the purpose of why we set these up now today because, well, they just can't keep up with the power usage. So, maybe next episode, I was thinking, I wasn't going to use the crude oil, but maybe we will. Because crude oil, I think, can be refined into diesel... And then the diesel can be used in a diesel generator from immersive engineering to set to actually generate power. And I believe it generates a lot of power, like 4,000 RF a tick. So if we just get our manual again. Oh, I did have a manual already. Okay. Well, if we go back to the start and look at here. So we want heavy machinery. And I think it's called a diesel generator. Oh, no. Power wires and generator. There we go. Be diesel lightning rod. Okay, I've never seen that one before. But diesel generator. So we need to make run off biodiesel. We're making biodiesel at the moment, actually. But it requires um, a lot of blocks. As you can see, it's going to require a ton of different things. And it will generate a lot of power. Does it say how much? Yes. So the generator will output there. And it will be split between all connected points. So if we had one cable outputting into one plug we should be able to generate a lot of power and what i'll do is i'll set up a, a point under a plug on it and a point in a separate kind of configuration so we can run the power into our energy cube because everything is getting powered out of that so i think that's what we'll work on doing next episode so we'll work on making a generator and we'll try and set up duplication for our tools so we can refine them in an arc furnace or recycle them in an arc furnace to get back infinite resources. I don't know how I'm going to set up automation for that. But I think I can just manually do a lot of it. Because if we have a look here like a shovel. We have a lot of shovels here from just our zombie farm. And I don't think we have like. Let me have a look at swords. Yeah you can see we have a ton of swords. Like we have a couple of diamond swords. Which can't be used in an arc furnace recycling. Which is unfortunate. But the likes of a gold like refined glowstone, uh, gold swords, lapis. I don't think stone can be used. No. But we can refine a lot of the stuff like bronze, gold, iron, reinforced lapis. So we can look at doing all that. Alright, so I'm going to end it there. Now a couple of things before we end the video is I'm going to be setting up a poll. And the link to that poll will be in the description and in the pinned comment down in the comments. The poll will be for what mod pack I will play next. Now the mod pack will... Well, the series that we're doing right now will not be ending for at least another 10 episodes. So around episode 30 is when we're going to plan to end it. 
So I want to get your opinion on what mod pack to play next. I have about three in mind, which will be, I think, actually, I don't know the third one yet, but we want to do probably Sky Bees, all the mods six to the skies. And if you have a suggestion for a third one, you can put down in the comments. I think I got a suggestion of Greedy Craft, but that mod pack is massive and I don't think we'll be able to even complete the pack for a series. But if you have a suggestion of a mod pack that you want to play or you want me to play, then leave it down in the comments and click on that poll and please vote so I know what to actually do next. Because if there's no votes, well, I'm just going to do Sky Bees or all the mod six guys, Sky Block. So if you liked the video, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.